All right, <clears throat> so at this moment, I'm going to start covering Unit 3. I'll be uh, posting these uh, exercises throughout the week. Uh, so I am hoping that you do uh, take a look at these as a class or individually. I don't know how you want to do this, but um, <clears throat> this will be a good way for you to kind of review or if you're stuck to go over uh, the exercise and see where you're stuck at and maybe this is going to help you get get through that and um, you can move forward. I'm going to go ahead and start the exercise but not finish it so you still need to complete it but at least I'll get you started and uh, hopefully this will uh, be a good starting point. So right now I'm going to be starting with a unit or lesson 3.1.4 first style with CSS. Alright so I've uh, what I have done right now is I've completely just just wiped out the whole uh, code in here I deleted everything now we we do it from scratch from beginning um, <clears throat> let's look at the exercise what does it want it wants us to create a page that looks just like this so a heading and an unordered list right and I'm assuming that it wants these in green and I guess that's about it so modify the CSS style of this page so that the h1 tags are green which now I believe it's this because they're the bigger letters and the li which is this tags have a font size of 18 px or pixels so this will have a 18 px so let's go all right so I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> look at my my editor and um, we don't have a CSS file yet and that's okay I think they want us to do the, the styling inside the page so let me start with our declaration first all right and in caps I am going to spell out the doc type which is version 5 for HTML all right and in lowercase letters I, I indicate what it is which is HTML next I will type out in lowercase letters the opening tags and closing tag of uh, HTML all right we got to do that every time now yours, your exercise may have some already written code in there. I don't know. Uh, I deleted everything, so we can just walk through this. Look at this as code walkthrough. All right. So I'm gonna go back up here, and the next thing I need to add is the head uh, tag or head tag tags. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go and write out the body tag or tags, opening and close. All right, so we got that much done. Um, <clears throat> let's call. Let's give it a title. That way we get into a habit of doing this. And we're gonna we're gonna call it. Uh, let's just call it CSS for now. There you go. And or here we we'll go like this. How about this? Um, let's go. So there you go. First CSS. Okay, kind of like that first style, first CSS, first style with CSS. No, that's too much. That's good enough right there. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, what I've been showing you guys is adding this uh, element with the attribute English. All right, you don't have to do this part right here, or you don't have to do the English language uh, format. I'm just doing that because it's just habit. Um, you can just do it without it but I think it's gonna be okay if you add it just you can get a good habit of doing that so there we go we have a basic HTML uh, format right here All right next we need to create an ordered list and an unordered list with the heading right so our first one is gonna be h1 right and underneath that they have an unordered list right so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going I'm gonna go ul for unordered list <clears throat> then I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna go ahead and create a list I think it was like five of them so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and to speed up this I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and then paste it underneath whoa wow what did I just do too bad we can't uh, this is a lot of writing I think I made a mistake right here let me uh, I was just working on adding the videos there you go and I think that's what came through all right, so let me do that again. All right, so there we go. 
And you know what? I've, there's something missing here too. Let's go down here. All right. And I'm doing this because anytime you open up a tag, you have an opening tag, you have to have a closing tag, all right? So it's uh, it's kind of think of it as a section of code, all right? In programming languages, you're going to have sections. So this is a section of code right here That's that gets within itself. Uh, it's also called nesting. So we have a parent tag. These are the parent tags. And these are the children or the child tag. In this case, just one. But we're going to have a lot more in here. So it'll be children. So let's do that again. And what I wanted to do before I had that little error come up, I'm going to copy that. All right. And I think it's four. So one, three, and four. There you go. All right, so now we have our unordered list. We have our heading tag. So now let's see, let's see what we need to fill. What information do we need to add in here? So let me go back to the exercise. I don't know if you have all this. I deleted everything, so I'm just starting from scratch. That way you guys can see as everything's being developed. For those who are still kind of working on this, this is a good little way to kind of see what's going on, and you can follow along. You know, if you have a, a tablet or something else that you can use watching this or pause it or whatever, and then you can be typing in your laptop, that's, that's even better. All right, so I'm going to click on exercise. So they wanted me to write my favorite animals in the heading. So let's do that. So it's my favorite. And I don't even know if they have it all capital. So my favorite animals, right? Animals. I think that's what I said. Let me see. Animals, yep. All right, next, they want us to add information here. So let's see what they want. Okay. All right, so let's do that. I'm just going to copy this mess, copy, paste. And that's a bad thing to do, guys. I, I, <clears throat> I'm just trying to speed it up. If not, we'll be here forever. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe it would have been faster if I just type it out. Yeah, I think I am. Oh, there's one more. What was the last one? Horses? No. What is that? Oh. So let me see what I'm missing. There's one animal. Oh, whales. All right. Maybe I should have just typed all this mess out. It would have been faster. All right. So we have whales. Now we've completed this. So now let's see what else they want. They want us. Oh, now we got to add style to it. All right. So <clears throat> if I if I remember correctly, I think they want us to add it on top of the body tag or inside the head tag. So let's try that. So they want H1 tags to be green, so let's do that. And how we do that is I'm going to put my cursor after the title, press enter, and I'm going to go ahead and um, write out the first tag, uh, the style tag that I need. So uh, that's the first step I need to do. And now I'm going to do that because we're going to add quite a few styles in here. The H1, right? So the H1 is the selector I'm using. It's called a selector. Just like that and I am going to do that and color right uh, green I think that's what they wanted so we're gonna leave that we're done with that one let's go here the next selector if I recall correctly is the ally because that's the next one the list and, and I don't know what they want there let me see what they want they want they all want to have font size of 18 font size of 18 so I'm gonna do that next In fact, I'm going to stop right there because I think you can finish this last part. I don't need to finish this whole thing. Uh, I think I went further than I wanted to. Um, you should be able to finish this now at this point. I'll leave it alone. You finish this. Tell me how it turned out. and um, Or actually, you don't even have to tell me because I'll check. So when you finish these, this assignment, this exercise, remember to uh, check to make sure that your work is uh, complete, that it's correct. And how you do that is just uh, you can either go to the test cases and it's going to tell you what's wrong or if you think everything is good and you click submit and continue, you might get a warning like this. That means it's not finished. If you continue, it's going to give you a yellow symbol. All right. And what that means for me is that you didn't complete the assignment correctly. So you're not going to get full credit. 
So you need to go back in there and fix it before you continue. So fix it, continue, that way it can change color, all right? And then you get full credit. So this is uh, lesson uh, exercise 3.1.4. Uh, next time I'll catch myself before I continue going all the way through. But this at least this is a good starting point. This will get you to where you understand that this style tags, which you already did in HTML, if you did the other exercises, those style tags is what's creating your CSS uh, styling or your design. So that's pretty much it. I'll upload another video later and it'll be listing style. We'll just continue doing all these. That way you guys can get caught up. All right. If you have any questions, email me if um, you need any help if you get stuck on any, any other of these exercises. All right, well, talk to you later. See you guys uh, in class. Bye.